we've heard plenty of stories this year, but none hit so hard as Sable, a desert coming-of-age tale that we've named our best narrative of 2021. There's no existential danger threatening Sable's world. No looming war or ancient MacGuffin to recover. In fact, Sable doesn't really have much of a plot at all. And yet, within an hour of firing up the game, a passing conversation brought me to the brink of tears. Sable follows, well, Sable, as she embarks on a rite of passage that sees her leaving her family behind to explore the world and figure out who exactly she wants to be. Every quest, every conversation, every mask and piece of clothing is there in service of finding an identity for the titular glider. You'll be choosing conversation options and outfitting your bike not because you need to optimise stats or grind reputations, but because it's what feels right for your Sable at that moment. Every mask you acquire is quite literally another face to try on. But there's quite simply an earnest warmth to Sable's writing. Almost every conversation you have is fleeting and incidental, but penned with such absolute earnestness that it's hard not to well up. You'll meet an old guard who's chosen to embark on her own journey of discovery late in life, and even the most sour-faced shopkeep meets you with the understanding that your gliding is an important moment. Most telling of all is that Sable is happy to let you wrap things up on your own terms, whenever you feel ready. This isn't a game that wants you to rinse it of content. Rather, you're free to return to your clan whenever your Sable feels she's found the mask that's right for her. It's a game about the joy of self-discovery, encouraging you to reflect during those long desert rides, best summed up in a tear-jerking line from one of your clanmates at the very beginning of your journey. Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all of that out there. But the world's an easier place if you put joy first. Mm-hmm.